What's up everyone, Jangular here, and after the recent announcement that Blizzard is doing internal testing to take a look at potential changes for McCree, Reddit has gone ablaze with theories on how McCree can be balanced. Now, we could sit here and argue back and forth whether or not a nerf is even necessary, but there's no denying the fact that in competitive play he sees over 100% representation, meaning he's being picked at least once every game, and it's not uncommon to see two and sometimes even three on a team. So, I'll leave whether his competitive play rate should influence his balance for all levels of players for another time, because we know that Blizzard is testing things right now. So I want to give a rundown of some of the possible changes McCree could see. The main issue people seem to always bring up is his flashbang fan the hammer roll fan the hammer combo. That is a potential of 865 max damage in a short amount of time. Worth noting is that Flashbang does 25 damage, but we're going to focus on the Fan the Hammer damage. And Fan the Hammer headshots do no extra damage, so we have a cap of 840 damage from just Fan the Hammer in the combo. The idea being that McCree is all about the 1v1 and eliminating other damage dealing heroes, which he does well. The potential problem is that he can burn through tanks just as easily, which has made him very popular. Our first idea is a reduction of accuracy to fan the hammer. The ability is supposed to be inaccurate to begin with, but during the combo he's generally at close ranges, which can make the decreased accuracy negligible. The idea for this is that if the accuracy is lessened, then there's less hits leading to less total damage. I have to wonder how much this will really help with the combo though at close range. How inaccurate would fan the hammer have to be to make a noticeable difference in damage? This could also make fan the hammer completely useless at any range other than very close which I'm not saying I'm against, just something to take into consideration. Next, we've got removing the reload from the roll ability, and this would completely eliminate the flashbang fan the hammer roll fan the hammer combo, leaving us with a max damage of 420, half what it currently is. Roll would now become a short range gap closer to hit your flashbang and unload your fan the hammer, or used as a dodge or escape ability. The question for this then becomes whether pruning the roll ability leaves it feeling lackluster or not, which would obviously require testing they're doing internally. Another option is adding a cooldown to fan the hammer, which accomplishes close to the same thing as removing the reload from roll, in that the flashbang fan the hammer roll fan the hammer combo would be eliminated in its current form. However, it does still allow for McCree to left click players after rolling for a little extra damage, which could be just enough to sneak in a tank kill here or there, depending on the accuracy of the player. Let's talk about a couple options that change the actual numbers though. One is to give a 50% damage reduction to fan the hammer, dropping its base max damage to 210. To accompany this, however, all stun targets would take 100% more damage from fan the hammer. This would mean in most cases that if a player did the full combo, the first fan the hammer would do 420 damage and the second after the roll would do 210 as the stun would be wearing off. You now have a total max damage of 630 burst, which is still significant, but we can get it lower. One final option that provides the lowest damage without removing the combo is to add damage decay to fan the hammer. So instead of each shot doing 70 damage, you could have each hit during fan the hammer do 10 damage less than the previous hit, giving us 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, and then 20 as our damage, for a total max of 270 instead of 420, which is still enough to drop damage classes. And if the full combo is used, we're looking at 540 damage rather than 840. This 300 points of damage reduction could be just enough to give tanks the time necessary to put up a shield, jump away, or potentially be healed through depending on the number of hits landed by the fan the hammer. These numbers could of course be tweaked in any number of ways to find the right sweet spot for the combo. Now these are just some of the potential changes we could see to McCree, and by no means all of the ones that have been discussed. We may see some combination or something totally different. I want to reiterate though that these ideas came from Reddit discussions and are not mine. I just wanted to catalog them so I provided some links of some of the more active posts on this topic that I found interesting so the credit goes there. I just wanted to share them with all of you. I am curious to hear your thoughts on this topic though. Do you think McCree even needs a nerf? If so, should it be any of the changes in this video, a combination of them, or something entirely different? Let me know in the comments. I love seeing discussion about these things. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time on AoE.